8% of all men have some sort of colorblindness. I happen to be one of them. In Chroma, a startup out of Berkeley is applying some deep science and state-of-the-art optical engineering to provide color for the colorblind. In Chroma makes glasses that help the colorblind to see colors. It's in the lens. Now it looks like an ordinary sunglass lens, but when you put these on, you see the world in a different way. Anything that's colored suddenly becomes sort of super colored. We're gonna use our beautiful garden here to test out the glasses and see what seeing color is all about. I have my color expert here with me, my wife, and she's gonna experience this with me for the first time. All right. Whoa, you look different. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you look really different. I don't even think you were. <laughs> In the 1940s, when people were gung-ho and wanted to go to war, they wanted to be pilots, they would test them, find that they're color deficient, and so what's, and they weren't allowed to be pilots. So what sprung up was this whole market of offering these people solutions, and it included things like hitting people in the head, massive doses of vitamin C, uh, injecting snake venom into the eye. It, it's crazy. What has changed is now technology is available to do this, right? There are these exotic dyes, dielectric coatings, coating machines, exotic lens materials, uh, computers to crunch information. Andy and I developed uh, a way to do this using absorptive specialty dyes, which we um, now have in our products. Are these dyes proprietary? Are they patented? Are they? They're, they're very special dyes. The problem with someone who's color deficient is all here at the retinal level. Mm -hmm. So if you can correct that information ratio and deliver it in there, it will open the door. So the eye is receiving photons and you have photopigments in there that interpret what wavelength those photons are. Well, that, you can think of the photopigments as being Gaussian collectors. They have a peak wavelength and then they fall off in their sensitivity on both sides. We have photopigments in the back of our eye that receive certain wavelengths of light. We call these cones. In a person with normal color vision, you have these three different Gaussian distributions of wavelengths of light that we absorb. We have the blue, the green, and the red. The blue is ancient and sits out here by itself detecting its own kind of spectrum of, of light. The green and red evolutionary actually came from the same place and they've split off. You see the problem here is there's a huge overlap between the red and the green. And this is a person with normal color vision. This is what I see. You see that green curve? is pushed way over, so it overlaps the red even more. This means that as photons are coming in, my eye has a really hard time differentiating whether that's a red or that's a green. What the Enchroma glasses do is they block out an entire portion of this spectrum. So now as I'm receiving photons, my eye can say, oh, that's a red or that's a green. And it just gives it a better chance of differentiating what color that exactly is. So using this computer program here, I can basically design different lens spectra, and then we're able to do all kinds of calculations to determine like what's, what the performance is of, of that lens exactly. I think maybe a great outcome of this is I'll start to really tune into colors more and be able to focus on it. And I think that part of what needs to happen is my mind, after all these years, needs to start training itself. Um, to really take in what it's seeing and, and differentiate in all these different colors. Here we go, a 65 inch LG 4K OLED TV and in chroma glasses. <laughs>